professionals, beginners, and hobbyists, welcome all to this new video. And as the majority of you know, computer-aided design software is extremely well known and used a lot in the design industry. And even though most CAD software has several tools and features in common, still, each software is different from another and every software can generate different results. Therefore, in this video, we will have a quick comparison between Fusion 360 and Katia to have a global idea about both software so as eventually you can define the one that suits you the most based on the features they offer, the budget, the working field, and also the availability. And you should note that both software are well rated and have a large range of clients from different fields. And before I carry on, make sure to click the subscribe button to do not miss on any of our future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, click the bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. And now, let's have an overview. Let's start with Fusion 360. Well, it is a powerful piece of software. How can it not be? And it belongs to the Autodesk family. The software is versatile and can be used in different fields like CAM and CNC programming, FEA simulation, and you can also use it in 3D printing and in video game design. Fusion 360 is compatible with multiple 3D printing software and it collaborates well with other Autodesk software. And when it comes to CATIA, it is a parametric modeling software. It can be used in product management, CAM, CAE, and CAD. And you can use the software to create assemblies or disassemblies of parts. And you can also use CATIA to edit assembled components or isolate one part of assembly and work on it. And as the interface and the learning curve are really important for the person whether to choose to use the software or not, let me tell you that Fusion 360 is an easy to use software. And since it is an Autodesk software, it has a great supporting system to assist you whenever you need, and also to accompany you in the whole learning process. The workflow is extremely smooth, allowing you to start designing in minutes. Fusion 360 is made to be used by beginners, students, hobbyists, and also professionals. Compared to other software, Fusion 360 is fast loading software, and it also offers quick results. And when it comes to the interface of Katia, especially in the newest version, it is well organized. On the bottom of the screen, you will find all functions gathered in one toolbar, such as views, tools, sections, transform, etc. The software also has other hidden toolbars that show up only when you are in the sketching mode or when you select lines. These toolbars have the most frequently used tools and commands. You also have a tree of all commands and tools that you make along your design process. The organization of the interface makes the work well organized and also helps you get an efficient workflow. You can find a lot of tutorials online to teach you the basics of the software, which is totally an amazing thing. And when it comes to modeling, Fusion 360 is an incredibly flexible software. You can use it to model any shape you want. The software has a powerful set of CAD tools that allows you to produce high precision models. Fusion 360 has multiple useful features, including the parametric design, which has become a very important feature that helps you save a lot of time and effort. It also helps you produce multiple variants of similar designs. The software is very useful in technical plans and details. And since it works on cloud, it increases the teamwork collaboration where multiple members can access and work on the same file. Besides that, the software has a great assembly features, allowing you to easily and effectively create great assemblies of parts. Fusion 360 has a great functionality to save your file online. This option is great, since it allows you to access your files from a different computer. In addition to that, you can use the software to analyze the movement of objects and the interaction between different objects. Moreover, the software supports multiple modeling methods and of course, you can use the one that suits you the most. You can use the history-based or non-history-based direct modeling. The non-history-based is used when you work on a single CAD file imported from a different software in order to make simple changes or to prepare your file for CAM or simulation. 
And for the history bait modeling, every modification is added to the design history and it is defined as a part of the parametric design process. In addition to that, the software supports the T-spline modeling method, which is a subdivisional modeling method used a lot in the complex and organic forms. You can also use solid modeling and surface modeling in Fusion 360. And now, let's talk about modeling in Katia, which is actually considered to be really easy. You can simulate and analyze the different interactions between all the parts of the assemblies as if it is used for real. The software integrated friction properties that can generate realistic simulation and through this you can assure seamless functionality and avoid errors in the manufacturing. Katia also increases the collaboration between different team members and anyone can access the model file since the software is on a cloud base. Katia has two types of modeling, surface modeling and solid modeling. And to do this, you can use two different workbenches. Part design of the solid modeling and generative shape design for both surface and solid modeling. Solid modeling in Katia involves using bodies while the surface modeling uses geometric elements such as points, lines and splines. If you want to use Katia in 3D printing, it is better to export the file with solid parts. Your 3D model has to have a minimum thickness that corresponds to the material you are using in the printing. Katia's latest version has new useful features like searching capabilities to help you find all the data you need for your project. The software has a great engineering insight that influences the quality and the performance of your product. In addition, the software offers captured manufacturing process intent and engineering systems to check the solidity and the functionality of the product. And now let's talk about rendering and animation using both Fusion 360 and Katia. So when it comes to Fusion 360, it can help you generate photorealistic renders with high quality that you can use in visual marketing for example. The software has easy rendering tools and any beginner can use it easily. You can also use the local rendering on your computer or the cloud rendering that the software offers. Fusion 360 allows you to set up lighting materials and add some components to finalize your scene. You can then set up the camera position and be good to go, be ready to render I mean. And when it comes to rendering in Katia, let me tell you that it's going to be the easiest process that you can go through. When you're done with modeling, click on the material button and choose the material that suits your object. Click on the camera button to render. Next, you need to save your image. The rendering time for a part or assembly depends on the settings and the quality of the render. A high resolution render takes more time than medium or low resolution render. In addition, the software allows you to add sources of light to change the background color and even add an image as a background. And if you have ever wondered what are the industries that use both of them, let me tell you that Fusion 360 is a versatile software that can be used by architects, mechanical and electrical engineers to generate technical plans. It can also be used in the manufacturing field as well as in 3D printing. And for Katia, it can be used in the engineering field, in architecture and civil engineering to create steel structure design for example. Roads and railway design can also be achieved using Katia. The software can be used in the construction field as well and it even can give you the volume of earthwork that should be removed or filled in a project. Katia can also be used in the aerospace industry, vehicle manufacturing and also machine and equipment design. And for me as an architect, the pricing and availability are really important factors for me to choose whether to use that software or not. So when it comes to Fusion 360, it has a free version for students, teachers and startups. The paid version's price is $60 for a monthly subscription besides two other three plans to choose from according to the duration you desire to use the software whether it is for one year, three years or more. The software is available on Mac, Windows and iCloud. The iCloud version is very intuitive and helpful in case you want to preview your work from a phone or tablet. 
When it comes to Katia, multiple plans to suit everyone has been offered. For instance, the price of life license costs $11,200 with $2,000 for annual maintenance. And to finish this video, we must highlight that Fusion 360 is not a very heavy software. It requires a 4GB RAM, a 64-bit processor, and at least a 3GB storage memory. And since it is on a cloud system, you need to have a fast internet connection to get a smooth workflow, especially if you are working on a complex project or making a render. On the other hand, Katia is a powerful software and it is better to have a strong computer with high performance. It is better to have 16 GB of RAM and a dedicated graphics card like Nvidia because working on a complex project can slow down your workflow. And now, we have come to the end of this video. We hope it was of a great help to you and that by now, you can make up your mind whether to choose to use Fusion 360 or Katia or why not choose them both. Thank you so much for watching.